Does anybody remember Lampe Inferouges? I remember these kind. Usually find these in scary hotels. Take a look at that. Pretty awesome. It's got that red kind there. It says uh, it's heat resist, heat resistant infrared. Gee, that's interesting. Isn't that the whole point of it? <laughs> Anyways, uh, there's warnings in that. Let's see what that has to say here. The English version here. I'll let you read that kind. You just pause it. I got two of these. Here's the other one we're going to plug in in a second. Why? Well, I happen to be at Lowe's and I saw them on clearance for $1.37 a piece. I said, yeah, I don't even have a fixture for this kind and I'm getting them. The price was too good. And I think I'll have to go back and get some more just to have, because they do still sell the uh, heaters that actually take two bulbs. So it was a mistake only getting two. I have to get like four more now. But for a buck thirty-seven, hell. So anyway, here's the watt o meter and the other blub right here. So we'll plug that guy in and there you go. Let it just adjust. It's just got that like real 80s looking, you know, 260 watts on the dot. Not 250, but uh, that's even better kind. I'll take the little infrared guy here and see what that measures. If, oh, 200 and change. I don't know if you can read that kind. Oh, it just went out. My, the battery in this thing is crapping out. But it's reading 172 degrees and my finger is starting to burn. So that's kind of good. And, um, it puts out a decent amount of, oh, this one's actually dickered here. I don't know if you could tell that kind. There's a little dot, see right there? But uh, I guess maybe they get that way, I don't know. Anywho, that's uh, pretty much the deal. These are made in, made in, made in China for you. So that's all good. And uh, maybe one day I'll be lucky enough to own a uh, what do you call a fixture that'll take these kind? Because they're just awesomely 80s looking with the light they cast. You can tell over here. Just with that eerie sci-fi looking glow over there. Kind of cool. And the outage of them. Pretty quick. And while I was there, I also picked up, simply because Home Depot refuses to friggin' carry the three-quarter inch, I picked up a uh, three-quarter inch inline sprinkler jar top valve kind. Why? Well, I had a little project that I've been meaning to uh, experiment with. I don't know if it'll work, but it was worth a couple of bucks. It's even got a six-year warranty, and it's assembled in USA of Chinese components, <laughs> or whatever it says. Anyway, so I got that very, you know, there's nothing special about this. Although it actually does come with the little slip to threaded three-quarter adapters. Won't help me any for my application. I got to get a pipe thread to hose thread fitting for male and female on each end. And uh, I'll show you the idea with that. The idea was to hook up over here by the sprinkler kind to the red handle valve. And I was going to put that in place and then see if it'll actually hold 125 or so PSI of air. And that way I could open and close the air electrically. I don't know. Just thought it would be a cool idea and I'll see how I could wire it in or what I can do with it. That's going to be a project for next year. Anyway, my battery is going kablooey here, so that's going to do it for right now. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit subscribe. And make sure you click off this video before the Music Mafia catches the next song. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.